Too many things going on right now. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, we're taking a ride out to Forest to get a few parts for the Easy Go. I need a seat handle, see if they got anything used out there, and a, maybe a used back bumper. I want to look and see if they have any used rims and tires, and I want to look and see in this and that and the other fucking thing. So we're gonna get that cart together now that's running. Get her gone. So, so, let me think for a minute. You think what I'm saying. So, why I got you on here today is to give you an update on a few things. One is the LS. We've had some changes happen there. I'm not gonna put it in the van. I'm gonna sell the van. I don't know whether I'm gonna sell the van with the stereo in it or out of it. Leave your comments down below because your thoughts mean a lot. But I really don't wanna tear apart the van to put the LS in it. It's a van, let's face facts. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep the LS and put it in the Chevy Silverado because, you know, this thing's getting up there on the old clicks and a nice little six liter with a single turbo and this thing would be a nice little sleeper. So leave your comments down below, let me know what you think of that. That thing's expensive. And as you know, I don't work in the plants or I'm not a union guy or anything like that, eh? so I don't make a pile of ton of money. So it's hard to uh, spend the money on that thing right now. I'd rather spend the money on these little things like golf carts to sell them and make money from it. So I was thinking about maybe taking the money from the golf cart or whatnot and stick it into that, but I don't know yet. I might just bank that money. Leave your comments down below. Let me know because I like your opinion and your input, of course. So give me some input, Captain. But I got you on the old tripod in the truck. I'll show you, it's not a bad day out today. It's kind of uh, a little overcasty. It is going to rain today, they say, but we'll have to freaking see. That's what I'm looking at this morning on the way out to Forest. So, Muns will take you with me. There was a big fire in Forest, by the way. I should have brought the droney. I could have showed you. I left the droney at home. Oh, well, that's another thing. See, I want to sell the golf cart and buy another drone because I lost my one drone, as you know. So, I want to buy the new Maverick Air 2S because they take the same batteries. Not we don't have to buy batteries twice, if you know what I mean. I still have my Maverick Air, don't worry. But So, that's number one when I sell that golf cart for like 4500 bucks because I'm going to deck her out. It's gonna be a nice one. What else is I gonna tell you today? Oh, yeah, that's right. T-shirts for my awesome number one American fans. Shipping is ridiculous. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna sell too many T-shirts to my American friends until the borders open back up so I can drive over to Port Huron, Michigan and ship them from Port Huron. I can't expect somebody to pay 20 some dollars for shipping for a fucking T-shirt that cost them. 20 some dollars the shipping's as much as a shirt i have a few people that want shirts of course from america and i have another gentleman if you're watching this you know who you are from the uk you don't want to know what it costs to ship to the uk right now the shipping companies just cock right over they do but like i said the americans once the border opens here we'll get you some shirts because that way i'll be able to go over and mail them from there so leave your comments down below let me know what you think of that Thank you anyone that supported the t-shirt thing. I've uh, really appreciated I have a lot of local people buying t-shirts from me, which I appreciate. I still have lots of stock, so if you're watching this, you're in Canada, please hit me up, because I'd love to sell you a t-shirt. I really, I really respect the support I do. It does help me support the channel, for sure. So thank you, anyone that's bought a t-shirt. So there's a quick update of that. I did take uh, take you for a little rip on the old Easy Go yesterday once I did the battery swap out from the van. I put the better batteries in it. I put the uh, the NGKs or something, something like that. I put them in there for the van stereo. So if anybody's buying the van, by the way, you don't get batteries with the van, so you'll have to buy your own damn batteries. That's the way she is. I'm not gonna give you $800 worth of batteries. Sorry about that, I apologize. It runs a lot better. I'll show you that clip right now. She's running like a mint, Captain. So as you can see right now, we got the old Easy Go running like a T. So we had a bad battery, and that's what was causing it. Took the batteries from the stereo, the Safari van, which are you know 55 milliamp or 55 amp hour batteries. We put uh, three of them in series, and one of them in parallel. So we have 12 volt accessories for when we want to put stereo and lights on this bad boy. Friggin' right we do. So that's friggin' awesome. 
but she uh lots of power real quiet typical electric runs like a movie star it's only a 36 volt but you don't need a 46 volt if it's for a campground anyway so now we can start decking the hell out of her jim what do you think of that see it's running pretty good we got some paint coming in for the body so we're gonna have to start sanding that soon which is gonna be awesome. But let's get out to Forest here, see what we can find for the golf cart, and we'll get back to you in a bit here. Well, we got ourselves a couple of used seat handles, and we found some uh, side skirts, you know, like kick plates there. They had some checkered, black checkered plate ones. Mine are kind of dickered, so I grabbed them while I was there. He gave me a deal on them, so what the hell. Didn't have any bumpers, didn't have any rims in stock, didn't have anything like that. What else they go there for? Seat covers, all they had was factory color. I don't want factory color, so. Hey, at least we didn't get nothing, right? We got stuff we need, so we're good. So now I can go on Amazon, I can order up the uh, seat cover, see if we can't find a bumper for it, and then we'll paint her up, start reassembling, see how much money we got into her, maybe buy some rims from tires for her. Definitely need some rims and tires for her. Can't put her back together with the stock rims and tires on it. It just looks like dicks. 24 hours later. I didn't get nothing else done yesterday. I got home from Forest and I, tinkered with nothing that's really that exciting i'll show you what i did tinker with though later on other than that i didn't do much i did end up making a, a big decision and i know that for a lot of you that are on the channel for this i apologize i sold the ls yesterday i just didn't see the funds coming soon anytime soon to finish that project it's going to take a lot of money that i don't have so i decided to make the decision of not doing that I had a very good offer on the engine yesterday and I took it. So they came and got it yesterday, paid cash, and she's gone. So anybody that's sticking around for the LS, I really appreciate it. You know, hopefully you still stick around because I love you guys and I'm always tinkering with something. But if you're here just for the LS, I really I really apologize. She's gone. One less thing off of my plate to try to get done. And I didn't lose money selling it either. So that's one good thing. Actually, I shouldn't say I lost about 100 $37.52 or something like that. Wasn't much. I lost a little, but wasn't much. So that's the way she goes, Captain. And that's the smartest idea I've ever seen back there. There's a guy back there that had one of those pools that go above ground, you know, the like I had, and he painted the whole thing black. That's a good idea, because now it'll heat up. Frig, how come I didn't think of that? Instead of run a line around it, why not just paint it? What's really going on? But anyways, just thought I'd tell you that. When I got the cash yesterday, I did a few things with it. Put it in the bank. I ordered some golf cart parts for this other golf cart fix up. So I got some nice parts coming in that you're gonna wanna see. So stick around for that. And I ordered another drone, of course, because as you know, I lost a drone and I like to have my backup drone. Now I couldn't decide whether to wait for the Maverick Pro 3 or go with the Maverick Air 2S. A lot of people are saying, don't bother wasting your money on it. But then again, if you're doing night shots, people are saying it works amazing. Other than that, the camera, I guess, isn't much better than this camera, according to a lot of people, unless it's due to their settings or something, but we'll find out. I'm not going to do any test videos or anything like that or any review videos. I'm not into them. You know, my drones are for getting video of stuff that I want to show you, not for doing videos of drones. You know what I mean? So, but I did end up getting it. I'm going to go with it. If I wait for the three to come out, then it's more money again, different batteries. So I'll have to have multiple batteries. Where this Mavic Air 2 and the S both take the same batteries, so I'm gonna try it. Yeah. I like to try to have everything that works with everything, if you know what I mean. So if anybody has a Mavic Air and they need an extra remote, hit me up, because I'll have three remotes, I won't need them. I'll be able to sell you one remote if you need a remote, so hit me up, the OcuSync, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, there you go. We're gonna roll into town here, because I got something to do, which ain't much, but I'm glad you're here. And this is just kind of like I said, I just, coming back from yesterday to let you know what's really happening so please don't be mad at me please still subscribe like hit the notification but the ls is lo which means lost forever
We're back home. I got that stuff that you put in between your bricks here that turns into cement to stiffen it all up. And I'm glad I didn't record it because I just cocked it right over. You're supposed to sweep it right off the stone before you water it, but I didn't, you know. She's just a mess, but hey, whatever. As long as it holds together, we're good. Pretty right we are. That's what I did for the last three hours. Now, I'm gonna go in and do an edit, but I just wanna give you an update. So we've got our first sanding done on this uh, body here. First sanding on the deck. We've got uh, a new plate made for the steering wheel so it doesn't have that big clipboard on there. We got some nice carbon fiber on here. We redid where the key is, right? Off on. And we uh, carbon fibered that. So, I ordered some stuff, like I said, for this, which you'll see on the upcoming videos. Hopefully everybody's having a good day like me. Not doing anything I ain't doing. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification. I love you all. And until next time, you know what to do for now.